Hey guys, you join me back with, we're actually outside today, um, with this edger. And I'm, I'm kind of in two minds as to whether just to get it up and running and then get rid of it, sell it, or do we do a full restoration? I guess it depends on what parts or the internals, what they're like. Um, so let's just, let's just start off. We know it's, we know it's got spark. We've already checked that in the previous video. We know it's got oil. That's not an issue. And turns over. Yeah, it turns over. The compression doesn't feel great, but um, we might as well dig into it. And if I find that there's something that's not worth repairing, well, then we can figure out why it was dumped. And if uh, it all seems good, the internals, maybe we'll do a restoration. Maybe I'll put it out to you guys. Is that something you'd like to see? But uh, let's pop the air filter off. Let's just make sure it's not gonna suck up any uh, debris or air filter element, and then we can get into uh, testing the rest of the engine. Then I think I'm gonna take the whole engine off, separate it from the frame, work on that separately, and, uh, and go from there. But uh, to start with, let's pop the air filter off. Start, is it? <laughs> First thing. Oh, I haven't got my impact tool. Hold, hold tight. Let me see. It's never a good start, is it, when you see different size bits? Okay. So, air filter. It's dirty, but it's present at least. I don't see why that can't be cleaned out. But the seal. Seems like it's actually sealing the whole unit, so. For now, we'll stick with it. We're not gonna change that unnecessarily. So this is our choke. That's choke on, that's half, that's off. So off is 90 degrees. So we'll have that open. A little bit of fuel. Take that off. I'm gonna stand, oh, why does it want us to start this side? All right, full throttle. Make sure those blades aren't gonna come off on us, right? I've gotta be honest, it does make me feel a bit uneasy knowing that uh, the blade's on there. I might, you know, I might just, I might pop the blades off. I just, let's get them off. Get them off. Alright guys, well I was messing around for a little while and I finally found a solution. The end of a 3 8 which can go on there with a bit of slop and then I'll just attach an adjustable to turn it. Let's see if actually, these are all cheap tools so I don't mind breaking them if they break. Alright, that's getting tight again. So, yeah, hit it with a bit more heat. Just being careful that there's an oil seal there. Do you guys use those offset spanners for this? <laughs> Go that the other way. All right, well, you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna carry on with this and bring you back. How about that? I don't think you wanna watch me do this. Let me see. Got him. That one, I was wondering why it was so hard to pull out. And that's probably why, because it's just damaging the, th or the threads were damaged. This one came up relatively easily all the way, and this one came out, just felt gummy. But, uh, we've at least got one on there. Now we need to pull that shaft off, which is probably rusted on. So we're gonna get some heat, a puller, and some penetrating oil, and we're gonna pull that off. a little bit of warmth. I don't want to 
go too crazy as I said before. I'm gonna put some oil down the two holes that uh, go out to the crank. Let that kind of drip in. I just want to be careful of the... Uh... Oh, there you go, it's coming out really nicely. Look at that. I wonder if a bit of scotch bright on that will help. Oh, why I will. We'll try it without first. All right, we need the puller. I'm just using a little bit of a spark plug. It's the threads for the spark plug. This is quite soft, so it's not going to damage my tool and it's not going to mar up or damage the end of this. I'm gonna to have to get something a bit longer. Okay, now the engine should spin freely and not cause us any issues. We can also have a look at these holes. Uh, we'll get you in a better position for that and uh, we'll go from there. What we really want is full throttle. And there we go. Good, it runs. What I really want to do, we've got this far, let's get the engine off the machine. We can work on the two separately. If I want to paint them, it's going to be much easier to paint <laughs> the, the frame without the machine on and vice versa and uh, it also gives us much better access to the back and the sides and everything, so let's do that. It should be fairly simple. Being a US machine, it should probably be an aerial, but you never know. A half inch, 13 mil. Oh, are you metric? I think it's metric. Oh no, surely you're not Whitworth. I wouldn't have thought this would be Whitworth, would you? So for those of you that don't know, Whitworth was used on lots of old British um, engines, equipment. Okay, it's not 3 6 inch Whitworth, and it's not going to be quarter inch Whitworth either, I don't think that looks too big. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is Whitworth. Check that out. How funny. Hope no oil comes out. One, two. No oil yet, and I know it's full. Three, and this is where the engine's going to fall. So let's. It's being held on by the crank. That's fine. Yep. Off you come. Right. Up we go. All the hardware can fall out. We have our engine. I know it's unlikely, let's just see if we put a bit of fuel in there. Tap's already open, fuel tube is bent, but we'll just, let's just see if it will take, whether it will leak. It gives us a bit more of an idea as to what's going on. So let me go get a gas can. I'm gonna purposely run a little bit of two-stroke mix in this for the simple fact that it will help give uh, everything a bit of lubrication. If this hasn't ran in goodness knows how long, then uh, it's always good to give a bit of lubrication. Above the pickup, should we see if we're leaking anywhere? I think leaking out of the carb. Nothing's leaking out of the hose. Sure, let's have a quick look, see if it starts. From that's on, that's on run. Give it a bit of 
bit of a head start. I think there's quite a high probability that it will just need to be cleaned out at the carby. Uh, that's on, that's on. We don't want choke on now that we've given it some. bit safer isn't it? A bit more fuel and it might also need a little bit of a tweak, a little bit of a tune. We can try and open the main jet up and that should allow more fuel through it might even clean up whatever the issue is. Just see if that lets a bit more fuel through and possibly past the blockage. to work but you never know so that's that that's on Let's have a little look at that recoil smoke alarm. Woo! We got it. That's enough of that. So, yeah. that's kind of cool. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Where you think I should go with this and this. What would you like to see? Resto, just a, a full deep service, or an in-depth service or just give it a quick clean, go out, test it for an hour or so, and make sure there's no issues. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Catch up.